What's up? This is Eddie Curry with the New York Knicks. Welcome to Tattoo You. I was with my buddies, man. And it was like, it was this tattoo place that was right up the street from my house. So like we all walked over there and um, we would try to get them to do a tattoo on us all the time. They never would do it because they're like, oh, we know you guys aren't, you know, of age. But, uh, you know, eventually they did it for us and uh, everybody was in there getting tattoos and it was crazy. I was, uh, I was 16 when I got my first tattoo. It was somebody's name. So let's talk about my second tattoo. <laughs> let's talk about my second tattoo. My second tattoo was also when I was 16. And uh, it, was, uh, it was something over here. But I got it, but I got it covered up since then. It was a bulldog's face right here, but I've got it like filled in and all kind of stuff. You know, when I got it, I had to hide it from my parents. So, you know, I, I got a tattoo, but I like always wore like long socks. So I got it on my leg first. They were mad, man. They were real mad. You know, it was like, uh, you know, they felt like I was uh, trying to be defiant and all of that stuff. And, you know, but, you know, uh, later on, they, you know, they're cool now. They're cool now about it. And I think, uh, you know, I think actually what cooled them off was like, I, I went and got a, like a mom and dad kind of tattoo. Like, you know, I love my mom kind of tattoo. So after that, everything was cool. So it wasn't like a tattoo that I could just like, oh yeah, everybody come look at this. But after I got the first one, you know, I got the second one and then the third one and the fourth one. And, you know, it was just like a, like a trend. And, you know, that was around a time when Allen Iverson was like huge, you know, and everybody was, you know, copying, basically copying his tattoos. A lot of my friends had exactly what he had. So, you know, but luckily, you know, I didn't do that and I'm glad I did. This was right before the NBA. And um, I started out with just the NBA logo. And it was always a lot of talk about, you know, me and all my friends got this right here. We got Hoop Life. So like, it's like me and like 12 of my friends got it like when we were growing up and it's, uh, it's like a little fraternity, I guess. I guess you call it something like that. I got home over here and team over here. Me and like two of my other friends got this same tattoo, Chicago. This was like, I got this when I was um, when I was a kid. This is just a cross with mom and dad. You know, trying to keep them, keep them happy. This is my first son's name, Eddie the Third. My second son, Rain. I got my daughter's face back here somewhere. This is supposed to be like, this is like a, um, like angels and demons like fighting and stuff like that. That one took like two sessions. That was like maybe two six hour sessions. Like excruciating too. Like I'm talking about <laughs> pretty painful. I got this one in here. I got a scroll in here. Psalms 27. That was that was pretty painful. That was pretty pretty rough right there. I got something right here. It says uh, bruise never broken. That was the worst ever. When you look at them, you definitely, it takes you back to that time when you got them. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of like a lot of the days that were like really carefree. And, you know, I was a kid and, you know, things I said and did didn't really mean much to anybody. So it was, it was, uh, you know, it was fun. Anthony Roberson, man, he had this tattoo. He's got this tattoo. It's, um, it says, it's supposed to say in loving memory, but he spelled memory with two M's. And so we were like, yo, man, why'd you, you know, we don't want to, you know, I'm sorry about what happened or whatever, but you know, that's spelled wrong. He's like, yeah, you know, but it was spelled wrong in the obituary. So they just put it on my arm right there. I'm like, yo, man, that's no excuse, man. Like, seriously. Then he got it fixed up and it still was spelled wrong. Like he got it done over and it was still wrong. I kind of always knew what my line of work was going to be when I got older. And, um, you know, tattoos are pretty cool, cool, you know, to look at in the NBA. A lot of people look at the artwork.